Hello, what is up guys? I'm on from Pesa Smart PH here. Welcome sa pinabagong episode. Shout out to all the podcast listeners as well. I appreciate you all. Today, I'm gonna teach you how you can create your own watch list sa Excel online. So you just have to go to Excel and Office, Microsoft Office 365. Then open a new workbook. Then pag nandito na kayo, you can just follow these steps. So una, pwede natin gawin is ilagay yung mga gusto nating header. So para sa akin, pinakauna natin gusto ilagay is sticker and then yung stock. Then from here, we can insert a table. Then click lang natin dito yung my table has headers and then ayan na siya. And then ideally, pwede natin lagyan ng ng mga borders. So para hindi siya magulo tingnan. So ito pwede nating palakihin. Then yung ticker pwede ganyan lang talaga or pwede palakihin din ng konti. It really depends on your preference. Then yung alignment natin is sa gitna lang. Ideally para sa akin. And you can also edit the table design here. Pwede niyo baguhin yung colors, pwedeng walang color. Then, pwedeng black, pwedeng gray, pwedeng orange. It really depends, again, on your preference. For me, we can go for black. Then, for the stock, you just have to input here. Kung anong stock yung gusto mong i-track. For example, we want a boy T's power. Then, punta lang sa cell na yun, sa B2. Then, click on data. Then, stocks. Dito, papapiliin ka kung alin yung stock na gusto mong itrack. So, for this one, we can check the details here. So, this checks out naman. And, you have to take note that may konting delay yung pag-update ng prices. So, for this one, for PSE stocks, may delay ng 15 minutes. Not really that long. So, itong dalawa, OTC markets to, so we don't want that kasi hindi naman yun yung binibili natin. So, AP yung ating stock. Then here, yung ticker, we can just add dito. Okay, mali. Mali, mali. Na-add siya dun sa kanan. But, what we can do is equal then B2 then dot or period then just click on ticker symbol then there we have then center na lang din natin to and e bold natin so center home there we go wait there we go so para mas malinaw siya and kaya tayo nag insert ng table dito para madali siyang isort kapag madami na kayong for example, na ilagay na stocks dito. Then yung next natin pwedeng gawin is i-click ito or ito. So for for this example, ito na lang yung gamitin natin. So we can add the price. So yan, automatic na siyang mapupunta dun sa kanan. Then pag chinect nyo yung formula, ito. Ito yung formula niya. Or pwedeng B2 din if katulad nito yung gagawin natin. And then we can add the previous close para kita natin kung magkano siya nag-close the previous day. There we go. And then we can go for the change kung magkano ba yun na bago sa price from the previous close and the recent close, the most recent trading price. The next one is the percentage change. So dito, kailangan lang natin baguhin ng konti yung yung what the all this yung accounting or kung ano man dapat percentage siya kasi ito tama peso yung nabago so 60 60 centavos yung nabago dun sa price so dito peso din dito peso din but for the percentage change kailangan natin gawin is of course going percentage ito kasi hindi siya magwo-work kung 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 peso lang din diba so it doesn't it doesn't, it doesn't make any sense so, lahat yan gagawin natin na percentage lang. So, more accounting formats, pwede natin gawin dito yan. Percentage. Then, may mga decimal places pa. Okay. And then, we can add some more. We can add 52-week high. 
So, ayan siya. Then, 52 week low. Then, marami pang options dito. So, ito lahat yung mga pwede nyong ilagay. You're incorporated, you're outstanding. Lahat nung pwede nyong mahalaga, kumbaga. And last traded time. Then, headquarters. Yung high for the day. Yung low for the day. And then, exchange abbreviation. So, PSE lang. And then, what else? Employees, exchange. And then, ang isa ko pang gustong gawin dito is mag-add lang ng dalawang columns dito. Then, babagoy natin yan. So, pwede natin gawin dito is upside. So, this just means compare natin yung 52-week high and the current market price. So, ang formula dito is equal and then we're gonna go for G2. Then, di-divide natin yan sa so, ang hirap pag may table But, i-manual na lang natin So, we can just divide it by D2 Then, minus 1 Then again, kailangan natin gawin to as percentage Para makita natin yung upside So, ibig sabihin lang nito yung upside Kapag bumili ka ngayon Wait, mali pala Hindi siya G2 dap, Hindi pala D2 Dapat I'm sorry about that Dapat C2 Kasi yun yung current market price So 21% For example Bumili ka at 30.90 Yung upside Is around 21.20% If mag 52 week high ulit Or maabot ulit yung 52 week high na price Nang abot is power So from 30.90 To 37.45 Yung upside mo Is 21.20% then, dito naman gagawin natin is downside. So, for this instance, ang gagawin natin is equal. Then, yung 52-week low, which is H2. We divide natin by C2. And then, minus 1. So, negative 25.24%. So, yan yung downside currently ng stock na to. So, pwede natin palakayin pa ng konti. So, ibig sabihin lang, yung 30.90, kapag bumaba siya ulit to 23.10, which is yung 52-week low ng Aboytis Power, then yung downside mo or yung making losses mo is potentially around 25.24%. But only if mag-trade ulit at 23.10. So, now, what we can do is try to add some more dito sa ating watch list. So, kita nyo dito, may mga formula na. So, hindi nyo yan kailangan pakailaman. Ang kailangan nyo lang ilagay dito is yung mga stocks na gusto nyo ilagay sa watch list nyo. So, pwede natin sabihin, PLDT. So, dito, cover na lang natin lahat. Then, go to data again. Then, stocks. Then, we can select PLDT. Then, we have TEL. The next, let's go for Meralco. So, wala siya. So, pag minsan stock code yung na nababasa nitong Excel. So, you just have to edit it. Then, yan. Kita na natin. Let's go for SM. So, iba yung nakuha niya. SM Energy Company. So, we can modify this. By SM Investment. So, wala pa rin. Search na lang natin ulit dito yung SM. So, ito yung nauna, SM Energy Company. But that's not what we're looking for. SM Investments Corporation. Yung ating hinahanap. Then, SMPH. Lagin natin. Automatic na siya. Then, sabihin natin SEC. Emperador. Nababasa ba? So, iba siya. And, dito nagpapa... Papapili siya. We can select that one. Ito, edit na lang natin. Emperador. Makukuha na ba niya? Hindi pa rin. Bakit ganito? Ah, hindi. Tama na pala. O nga pala, nagbago na yung stock code ng Emperador. Hindi na siya EMP. 
I'm not sure when that happened, but yung EMP is naging I'm not sure kung ano nangyari sa EMP, but niyan siya listed. So naging EMI na yung Emperor. So yeah, tama naman siya. Then what else? We can go for GME7. So nakuha na rin niya, tama naman. Go for DMC. Then last, sabihin natin SMC. Kaya nagpapapili siya. San Miguel Corporation. There we have it. So that is the basic, kumbaga, watch list that you can create for yourself dito sa Excel Online. And this is all like free stuff lang. You just have to create an account with Microsoft and you can use your Google account then naman, your Gmail for, for that one. And once you're here, again, you can create your own watch list. And kagandaan kasi sa, dito sa Excel, like, you can, you can, like, for example, pwede kang maglagay ng, what do you call this, ng visualization, or pwede mong ilagay yung portfolio mo dito, pwede kang mag-create ng portfolio. So, siguro yun yung next natin gawin. Create tayo ng, kumbaga, parang compilation ng portfolio dito sa Excel. Although you can you can always monitor your portfolio. For example, sa in yung online stock broker, sa BPA Trade, sa Ocal Financial, or whatever you're using. But it's kind of neat then to have your own spreadsheet. Because you can you can always edit it and you can add add things na hindi na offer or walang ganong feature yung in yung online stock broker. And alam naman natin na medyo limited lang din yung features ng mga portfolio viewer sa sa mga online stock brokers. So, for example, pwede mong ilagay doon yung dividend yield. Pwede mong ilagay doon yung mga financials. And mas madali mo siyang ma-review kasi nasa isang sheet lang siya or nasa isang workbook lang. There you have it, guys. Sana may natutunan kayo. And if you want to get out the end of this video, thank you very much. I appreciate you. If you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button and ring the notification bell para wala kayo miss out sa mga uploads ko. Thanks again for watching and listening everyone. Stay safe. I'll see you on the next episode. Always remember, be peso smart.